Oh no, what is this? This is a Spy Kid course. However, it is not one I am too familiar with. See, this guy already outlined me hard, and then I just wrecked him. I feel bad. Oh! See, this is what happens when you don't know the tracks. Like, that is a horrible turn. Um, so I have an idea, actually, because it's super easy for me just to um, complain about the the way some of these tracks are made, because I'm used to, obviously, playing Nintendo courses. Um, I think the solution... Um, tell me if you guys like this idea. Is... <laughs> I don't know where to go, guys. Oh. So here's my solution, because I do great on the the tracks that, that I'm familiar with. My solution is to play some of these really wonky tracks, ones I'm not very good at, ones that I can easily get a bottom placement on. I stole my box. Wow. This track is not friendly to low tier vehicles at all. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, yeah, so make a series where like, I go on time trials and I play the staff ghosts of a track. And then I play, and then we watch the best known time, like the world record time for the custom track. And we, and we utilize those strategies and we try to learn the course together. And, oh, I hate that turn so much. I cannot even begin to describe how awful that blind turn is. But yeah, so that way I will learn the tracks and I'll be able to not complain about them as much because I'll be familiar with the layouts and stuff like that. That's a funny shortcut. This track's really, really hard. Like, I am I am focusing very intensively right now. And I've really pulled it together after that awful start. It's just that I have... I have no clue what to do on the slope section coming up. Oh, I didn't trick, that was bad. So I'm supposed to go this way. There, I'm supposed to go, th okay, that, that's all it is, but it's it's just blind. You, you have to know where to go. There's no arrows, there's nothing indicating it. You're just off the edge without any indication whatsoever of what to do. That's so sketch. Oh. I'm actually happy that shock happened. I was like losing my bearings a little bit there. <laughs> oh no, how nullified him this. You know what, you can actually go inside that post if you cut it really tight, I guarantee it, but not anything we're gonna risk. It's also something I'm gonna be doing, is I'm gonna be playing a lot less risky. Aw, oh, poor guy. Where's the finish line? Oh no, okay, it's right there, good. Oh, blue shell. If there was just one more turn, we'd be getting a middle spot, we'd be losing like 40 points. But now, we're probably gonna break even. Maybe go plus 10 or something. Hoping for the best. But yeah, um, the series would be, I would, we'd watch the Staff Ghost, I would, like, try to beat the Staff Ghost, or, you know what, I would play the Staff Ghost blind or something, because we don't need to watch the Staff Ghost. We'll play the Staff Ghost blind, we'll probably lose to it, and then we'll watch plus 12, I almost called it, I said plus 10. Back to 88. So yeah, we'll play the Staff Ghost, and we'll play the we'll play the Expert one. I'm pretty sure there's two for every custom track, and then we'll watch the best known time, and we'll emulate the strategies, and then we'll try to beat the Staff Ghost, and then we'll try to master the track. And it'll be kind of like a tutorial, but I'll learn also, rather than me just teaching you guys. Like we'll learn together. So that could be a cool idea. Tell me if you guys like that. It'd be like Troy versus, and then insert track name like Melting Magma Melee or something like that. You know, one of those hard ones that I struggle at. Oh, okay, we got Six King Labyrinth on 150cc. I guarantee I'm gonna get a top 3 spot on this one. Because there's a lot of players in this room that have lower VR. They're gonna have a tough time on this one. And I've played it a handful of times since coming back. It's also 150. I should have no problem breaking away, getting a top spot, like a top 3 spot. I'm also super tryharding right now. I really want to get to 9,000 this session. Like, I just kind of, it kind of hit me how close we are right now. We're four good races away from it.
that was so bad. No more mistakes. That was a horrible first lap for me. I know I'm in first, but I wanted to get in first so I could take a blue or two. And right now, I can't take any blue shells and maintain first place. So that was a really bad lap. So I'm trying to remember where to go here. I think you go straight and then left. Yeah. And then that way, that way. This way. I think that's right. And then we're gonna throw this fake item box behind this corner, of course. That one's a good one. People like to take that tight. Told you. Alright, so we're not gonna maintain first after this. It's kind of a bummer. This guy. Oh, okay, he's not gonna green me. Thank god. Oh! You know what I should've done? I should've braked. I was just holding left. I didn't break there. I, I, I was still holding A. Okay, we're still in second. This is okay. Maybe Bob will take a blue for us. Maybe he doesn't have anything to dodge this red shell. I'm not to fire at him. Maybe he got a fake item box. Or maybe he uses the crevice as well. Ooh, he went for that box. Okay. He's gonna lay one there. No, he didn't. So, if you have them, oh, okay, okay, this is great. Great, great, great. So, this isn't the, you know what, there's a little bit better route than this, I just remembered. This isn't the optimal route. Yeah, we lost some time. Dang it, I forgot what to do there. That is so bad, my fault. But, this is still good. And we should be in second after all this is done. The shortcut is good, the ultra cut with the mushrooms, but it's not like, it's not everything. We could still beat him. He had a red shell. So we're not getting first anymore, we just have to get to the finish line before a blue can hit us. Alright, second's fine. Well, I called it, I knew I'd get a good spot. Oh man, if he didn't have that red, we had him! We had him, guys, that's just unlucky. Alright, that was a good uh, good race, though. I, uh, I could go full try-hard mode. Obviously, commentating stops me from doing that, but I could still do pretty well with commentating now. I'm, like, really getting the hang of it, I feel like. The key is just to not go on long tangents when I'm in difficult tracks that I'm not familiar with or I'm in lap threes where I need to actually think of how to use my items effectively and ex and whatnot. So we got plus 40 49 for um, second place, which is really good. Alright guys, I chose Super Sky Courtyard, one of the top 10 tracks in the custom track, CTGP online, blah blah blah, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh, I missed the box. That turn is wild. These boost panels are helping me so much escape the guy from the thundercloud. What also escaped me, helped me escape the guy from the thundercloud, is bumping into that wall like an idiot. Thank the lord I pulled that mega. Let's get a Bam Shock Dodge. We're not going to get many chances for Bam Shock Dodges in this video because we're maintaining those top positions. But right now, that would have been a good time for a Bam Shock Dodge. Maybe this cannon right here? Bam, bam, bam. No. <laughs> we're trying for it, guys. We're trying for it. So there's a cool shortcut on this course. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do it with only one shroom, which is why we're just going to use this mushroom here. 
get into third place. Not worry too much about items, focus mainly on driving well, pulling ourselves to the front through our lines, which is something you can do, which I think I underrate. I think I focus sometimes too much on items, and I, I get lazy with my driving because I don't think it matters, and it matters a whole lot. Did I hit the same wall like both laps? I'm pretty sure I did. Huge blue shell. That is gonna help us so much. Got him, got him. That's that oh that's so good, guys. That is so not good. But my red shells actually probably made him slow down there. He probably would have tried to overtake me, really bump me, but because I had the reds, he played it safe and let me take first. So we got kind of a weird combo here. We got double reds and a fib. We can really try to backspam him on one turn, that is something to consider. However, where is he at? There he is. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, he almost got me with that Mega. So, so happy that we were able to get that far out of the way. Before the blue shell came raining down on us. Alright, let's not hit that wall for a third time. That's my goal on this turn. No! Something I'm really trying to avoid is getting hit by backspam. It happens too much. Super thankful that red shell went past me. It's probably gonna hit the guy who caught me. <laughs> you know, we're gonna have to snipe this guy, aren't we? These, those trees are so bad. I cannot describe how much I hate those trees. So yeah, I threw those bananas. I threw one back in time. But, uh, it's okay, it's okay. I think the guy in first might have dodged, I'm not sure. Get that red behind me for protection, and let's pull out second place, nice. Okay, we're gonna gain some more VR for that. We're really pushing to that 9,000 today, guys. I'm taking it 100% super serious mode. Gotta get that over 9,000 VR. The Dragon Ball Z edition of MKW. We'll be racing as Goku today, guys. No, I'm kidding. 8903. Our first time hitting 8900. And there's a couple, there's two 8000 racers besides us. There's a 9000 racer. This is the room to do it, guys. We could do it in two races if we keep up this pressure, keep getting these top placements every race. All right, guys, we're almost at 9000, but this is one of those challenges that could really kill us. We have a 100cc red loop. Got the shortcut. That's huge. That's that's super huge. And we have to get this other shortcut. But the problem is these fire things are just so menacing. Horrible throw. <laughs> okay. Thank you, 100cc, for being the worst thing ever. And yes, I'm blaming 100cc for that. Whew. That was clutch. You know what? I should have saved that. That was dumb. Oh! So good! Oh, I did... <laughs> I did them both, guys. I did both shortcuts while the rocks were... Um... Where the, all the rocks were shaking. I, I That was one of those moments where I'm like, Troy, this is going to cost you a thousand of VR. This is going to be the end of it for you. But no, we're hanging on real well right now. Okay. Wrong time to get big right there. The good thing is this track's so hard that other racers are probably struggling right now. So we're not getting past. The blue shell's not gonna matter unless he gets comboed a lot. Okay. Oh, we can maybe pull off. Let's go, let's go. No! Why is that fire going in that direction? That's so stupid. This track is horrible. It's not horrible, it's just not fun. Which is horrible. <laughs> Fourth. 
All right, could have got second, screwed up the end. Had great item luck that race. That really kept us from floundering. We had a couple Megas, triple Shrims at the end. We just couldn't utilize them to their full potential there. No shock dodges, unfortunately. But hey, I'll take minus six on that track. That is no worries, that is nothing. We pretty much went even right there. We're chilling. Okay, Wario's Coliseum. We have some people in this room with really high VR now. So this can go one of two ways. This is not the way I wanted it to go at the beginning. We're gonna wait for that box. Because when you're in last, you know, you get such good items, and you never know how much things could change between one set of items and the next. It's so much better to get like an 11th place box than like an 8th place box. I'm gonna get this bullet to 5th place and then I'm gonna use it. Right now. It's gonna take me up to first. That's how bullets work. I mentioned that in another video. It was, uh, fail and recovery number six or something like that. People were always like, that was one of those times where everyone's like, what? People were mind blown by that. It surprised me how many people didn't know about that. No mistakes, guys. But these racers are good. We're going to have to keep our eyes out for people trying to snipe us. How much will we get if we get first? You know what? Let's not think about that. We still got one more lap. Good thing this is only two laps. Spending more time looking back than looking forward. I'm just so worried. The guy behind us has uh, max VR. Zach. Yeah, Zach has max, I'm pretty sure. No blue shells so far, that's good. Take this a little bit wide because it's such a hard turn and Funky Kong struggles with it as you can see. <sighs> Point proven, right? <laughs> Can't get flustered though, you have to just keep the focus. There's a lot. No! Oh. What is this respawn point? That's so stupid. I played that end perfectly. Hopefully I don't lose all my VR. Eighth. No, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Ugh. Oh, man, just target shocked. And I get the worst respawn point of all time. I was like, that, that's like one of the big mistakes Nintendo made with um, their tracks is they have the Waluigi Stadium and Wario's Goldmine ramps huge. And they put the respawn points so far back. Like, I rave about Nintendo courses, but they do have their flaws also, and this one also suffers from that same same problem. It's so, like my whole race ended. I was, I was still going to get like third or second, and then instead I get uh, eighth, even though it said I got seventh. That is so frustrating. All right, guys, here we go. Wetland Woods, the last race of the video. We're not getting to 9,000 on this, this session, but I have to pack and get back to college tonight, so I can't race anymore, unfortunately. I really wanted to hit 9, 9k in this session. Yeah, and this room is getting a lot better, which is also, it's kind of almost a good thing that I have to stop, because it's very possible I could lose a lot of VR in this room, just because the racers are getting real good.
I think I'm kind of all in on this room right now. Oh, that was embarrassing. I feel so bad for that guy. <laughs> he just did that on my video. Oh, man. It happens. <clears throat> I know you can do that, Shroomless. <clears throat> my voice is... I'm losing my voice. Another reason to stop. <laughs> I know you can do that, Shroomless, but, uh... It's just easier with the Shroom, and it's 100cc, so I'm, like, really playing it safe right now. Oh, I thought that would hit him for sure. I got it right in that crevice right there. It's a really good spot. Hard to see it. We're gonna have to do it true most this lap. But we're gonna play it safe on our shroom cut. I mean our shroomless cut. Like that's good. <sighs> Try his back to at the line. Come on, man. It's one of those guys with nines. Hey, that guy was nice though. He waited for me. That was really uh he did not have to do that. So uh shoutouts to Zach. He uh, is the guy who made a lot of the tool assists for Mario Kart Wii back in the day. Lucas Lokes? Lucas Locks or something? You guys would probably recognize the name. But yeah, he uh, he made the best tool assists that I've, I've seen in this game. Alright, we're at 8866. That is some really solid VR. And I have to go. Oh man, I'm so late right now. I really want to play more too. But uh, that was a good session. We're almost at 9000. And I'm going to probably try out that thing that I mentioned, where I'm going to play some tracks, see how they go in the Troy versus track series. And uh, if you guys like that, I'll make a bunch of those. Hopefully, it'll make us better at custom tracks. So when we get to nines, we don't lose nines super quick. All right. Next time I record, my voice should be back to normal. It's almost there right now. But these last like two weeks, my voice has been a little bit raspy and uh, you know hoarse, I guess you could say. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you for watching the series. I hope you're enjoying Road to 9999 VR. It's been really fun to make. What's great about it is it's something I can always do, you know? Because it's sometimes hard to get inspiration for ideas. But now, anytime i you know, not sure what to make, or I'm just in the mood for playing some Worldwides, it's perfect. All right. Thanks for watching. Give a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.